I guess the bottom line, bird's eye view, but bottom line on seed oils for you guys. I mean, do you come down clearly on the side of seed oil consumption should be minimized because you think the evidence is compelling enough to, to really warrant that conclusion? I, I actually do. I think you should um, start looking at your labels and realize that how much seed oil you have on your shelves and how much is going into your mouth. So if you, if you go to Super Bowl Sunday, you're going you're gonna to get a boatload of seed oils, right? From the chicken wings, <laughs> you know, with, with not seed oil, but from omega sixes, let's say, from the chicken wings to the chips, to the dips, you know, just loaded with seed oils. Uh, and, and so try to avoid, you know, it's hard to find bread. So just start making label choices, reading the labels. There is a, uh, there's a label, uh, there's a label app that I found. It's called Bobby Approved. It's free, B-O-B-B-Y Approved. And it, it scans with your phone, the label. So you can just scan any label. I think it's the barcode on the label has all the information, the food label, and it will say Bobby Approved or not. And often the approval is disapproval comes because there's a seed oil in the product. Mm. So it's actually very easy to find it because you can't read these labels sometimes. They're so right. small, right. but you scan it with this, uh, this, this uh, web app, uh, a phone app. Uh, you can, uh, again, it's free to download. So I would suggest something like that. 